Hi, my name is Nathaniel Ramalho, and you call me Nathan for short. I'm a consultant with Red Hat. And hi, I'm Saharsh Singh. I'm a senior consultant with Red Hat, along with Nathan here. So, OpenShift 4.2 have this amazing tech preview feature called Serverless. Can you explain it to us? Sure, yeah, serverless is a tech preview feature in OpenShift, a lot of excitement around it, rightly so. Before we talk about why people are excited about serverless, though, let's just talk about a typical OCP and how that's deployed for contrast. You know how that goes, right? Yes, I do. You will only have to do is create an application, then you create a route to expose its services, and the application will be running. And if you want a high available application, we just have to scale it up, and the OpenShift will distribute the load through the nodes. And if the nodes goes down, the application will still running. Absolutely, and that's great for a typical uh, web app that gets consistent amount of traffic throughout the day, right? Yeah. So as long as we size the number of pods dedicated to the application uh, with the anticipated traffic in mind, and hopefully that traffic is consistent throughout the day, we will not waste resources on the cluster because the pod, there will be just enough resources dedicated to this application yes. to serve this traffic. Yes, okay. But think of a scenario where the application gets bursty traffic. You know, it gets maybe one or two hours uh, a day. It has a lot of traffic and otherwise just sitting there idle. Right? Yes, we're going to have application running and no traffic coming in and the resource will be, will be used. Yeah, you're just wasting resources. They're sitting there idle doing nothing. Right? Yes. Now, we do right. have some options to deal with that currently in OpenShift, yes. right? Yes, we can always scale down to zero, but it's not a good idea to do this in a production environment because if you forget to scale up, it's going to be a mess. Absolutely. It's a manual process, and if you forget to scale them up when the app is needed, that's a huge problem, yeah, right? It's terrible. <laughs> now, there are some options with auto-scaling as well, but those tend to be around CPU usage and memory usage. You know, so OpenShift can detect that your available number of pods are being overwhelmed because of CPU usage or memory usage and scale them up, but they're not directly related to the traffic coming in. So it's not, you know, uh, it's great for CPU load, but not great for incoming requests. Okay. So that's where serverless helps us, right? And with serverless, your, our typical app that's just been told to OpenShift to be deployed as serverless looks about the same. You still got a route exposing it out. But what we're missing initially are the pods because we currently we don't have any traffic. OpenShift knows that it does not have any pods dedicated to it. Okay, that's great. So it's not wasting any resources, right? Yes. Now, as the app starts getting its initial set of traffic, um, OpenShift will detect that, that the app needs to start serving. So it will spawn a pod. And now we've got a thumb footprint on the cluster using resources to you know, uh, serve the traffic that's coming in. That's and that, great. And that's great while that traffic is about the, you know, about the same load. But as we go throughout the day and we start hitting uh, peak load, get, start getting more and more traffic, OpenShift can detect, oh, there's a lot of requests now queued up. This pod is getting overwhelmed. It'll start spawning more pods to serve this new load yeah, of traffic. OpenShift, you will scale it. Absolutely. That's great. <laughs> but then, what if we start hitting the part of the day when users, start, users stop using the system yeah. and we set no traffic? What's going to happen? Right? So we lose all this traffic. Now, in our typical OCP app, the pods would have stayed there. In our serverless app, OpenShift handles all the scaling. So it determines these pods are sitting here just hogging resources. So it goes ahead and scales them down automatically. And we're back to our initial state. No pods, no resources being Really? Allocated. There will be no pods running? Yes, and so we've auto-scaled down to zero, saving resources. Wow, man, that's great. You're going to save resources and our money, right? Absolutely, win-win. That's awesome. And that's why serverless is very exciting. Uh, serverless is great for this use case where your app gets bursty amount of traffic you know, okay. in frequent periods um, where you get a lot of traffic all of a sudden. It's also great for implementing event-driven architectures, any kind of queue consumers where the number of messages coming into a topic can vary throughout the day. So, you know, those are great use cases to apply serverless at. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you're also curious about serverless and want to start playing with the tech preview feature, feel free to account, uh, contact your current account executive. Or you can always go to redhat.com slash services and find out some more. Thank you for your time. Thank you.